y'all. Look at my locks real quick. Damn. What's good, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another stoner video for you guys on this nice day. I just really want to piggy off that fresh and fit video that I made because I feel like I focused on more on what was wrong with the podcast instead of showing them a different perspective. Today's video, we'll be talking about what makes a girl want to submit to a guy. Before I start, let me light up my spliff. Make sure y'all got your spliffs, y'all blunt, y'all bow, y'all bong. Y'all already know the vibes. Oh, and I also want to make a disclaimer. This is not for every girl. This is not for all types of girls. Trust me, I know. I know there's girls out there that they're describing, that Fresh and Fit is describing on their podcast. Yes, I know that those girls exist. Trust me, I done talked about one. Sukihana. Okay, if they're just teaching that to their audience on how to not get that type of girl or not to go after in a girl you guys want a girl to submit but what makes a girl want to submit to y'all what makes a girl want to submit to y'all so the first thing that makes a girl want to submit is knowing that he has a future for himself a better future for himself if a girl see you that you're struggling in life and that you're still in the same predicament as you was in four years ago and it looks like you're showing no progress and that you actually don't care about life then a girl is not going to want to submit to you a girl wants a guy that actually want something for themselves, that actually want to live the life that they actually have. Some people just have a fixed mindset, which is just thinking that you can't do anything else in the predicament that you're in, so you just settled for less. And women don't like to see that in their men. They like a man that have a growth mindset, that want more for themselves, that see a setback as a come up in the future. They want a guy that talks about wanting more a guy that actually take time to research stuff that he want maybe like a house or a business that he wants to run you got some guys out there that just don't care the second thing is knowing that the guy has a good job or in school or in training in a trade or a good career in something no girl wants a broke ass guy i guess this bullet point is very controversial because people think that you shouldn't focus on what your like partner is making but i feel like you should people look for stability in a relationship nobody wants to have all the luggage and baggage on themselves only while their lover is sitting at home doing nothing i'm not saying that you should have your whole life figured out as soon as i meet you but you should be interested in doing something with your life. You should be interested in a job, a career, a trade that makes you money. If you're not interested in that, then what? This is not going to work. Even though our relationship is supposed to be about love, if y'all live together, love doesn't handle the bills. This point also goes with my next point is that a girl would submit if she know that the guy is not a lazy guy, someone who don't know how to take care of themselves. You wouldn't even want a girl that don't even take care of herself. There is some guys out there that expect their woman to do what basic humans should know. You as a man should know how to wipe your own ass. If you don't know how to cook, if you don't know how to clean, if you don't know how to do laundry, if you don't know how to wipe your motherfucking ass, don't even, don't even go after nobody. Just work on yourself. The next thing that makes a girl want to submit is knowing that the guy brings her happiness. Happiness. When I tell y'all, when you have a happy woman, you don't have to worry about nothing. You don't got to worry about no guy coming in and sweeping her away. You don't got to worry about her looking no other guy's way if you bring her happiness. As in, you're not toxic. You don't fake sleep. <laughs> you don't act like you going somewhere, but you really going that way. Come on, guys. You guys know you guys sneak and do shit and expect girls to <laughs> still be okay with it. If y'all going to have like a whole lifetime knowing that your girl have to pick up everything, knowing that she has to be the breadwinner, knowing that she has to still cook and clean and wipe her ass every motherfucking night, that's, that girl is not going to be happy. Like, satisfied, making sure that you're good in bed, making sure that you don't think that just because you have a big dick that you're putting in work. Most girls 
Whew, let me let me not get into sex talk but make sure that your girl is pleased too in the bed lovingly telling her that she's beautiful telling her i love you showing her appreciation buying her shit i just feel like men need to play the man part i feel like a lot of times they want to act like alpha males acting like they above these bitches acting like whew, none of y'all bitches can touch me but y'all shit really stink y'all shit really stink on the low but you really want a good girl to cover that up no i'm telling you if your girl happy you don't have to worry about nothing guys if you're watching my video i'm telling you if your girl is happy i'm telling you you do not have to worry about nothing the last thing that makes a girl want to submit is knowing that you're mature for an example I know that's really broad. Say a guy in his teens or early 20s, he thinks that, you know, all girls are unloyal and you can't trust none of them. They all got the and and da -da 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 -da. they just always going in on girls thinking that, hmm, maybe they gay. If they don't like girls so much, why the fuck? You bad for the wrong motherfucking team. But anyways, say a guy thought like that when he was younger and now he thinks that, okay let me actually give a girl a try let me actually try not be half ass but actually try to be in a relationship with this girl that's maturity or being young being a cheater being you know just fucking all these bitches to now wanting just one relationship wanting just one girl that's maturity another example when he was younger he didn't really know what to do with his future, but now he got this whole business going or he works at a good IT company or some shit like that. Maturity. When he was younger, he thought eating pussy was nasty. Now he think eating pussy good, okay? Seeing that you overcame an old mentality, that makes a girl wanna submit, I'm telling you. Everybody been toxic. Everybody wants to seem like, I'm pretty sure there's people watching my video that's probably gonna say, oh, I never been toxic, yeah. You probably been one of these people that I've been talking about, okay? <laughs> the fuck? Admit it. Just taking accountability as a man. Knowing that you did wrong in the past, and now you want to change for the future. Overall, I feel like a girl will submit to a guy that will show them a better way of living. Period. That's why I really want to come on camera and talk about, like, this. Because I feel like in the media, girls are, like, overall overall girls is portrayed to be some trifling sneaky ass females like we don't want nothing we just want a guy to milk off and to lift off and we don't want to do shit but listen my video is here to teach to educate y'all men out there with this type of mindset not all girls are like that and when they're not like that this is what we really chase after but you guys need to be mature be mature enough to give some females a chance. I see all this shit that goes on on social media. It doesn't affect me personally, but me having a voice, I want to show y'all <laughs> there's different girls out there. That's it, really. My split bout, liquid as fuck. I had to put it out a few times. But <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to see more stoner videos, if you guys want to see more chit chat videos like this, then make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll just see you guys in the next one, okay? Later.